Welcome to GIT Limited. We are an online platform dedicated to creating civil and structural engineering content. Our content are well researched. We carry out design services, online training, through self-explanatory step-by-step tutorial courses. Our scope span across reinforced concrete and steel structures. We focus on first principle design approach and subsequent application of various structural engineering subjects. We are committed to creating educational video content in structural engineering within CAD software. Make GIT platform your favorite channel. God bless you. Welcome to our design class. Thank you for your interest in our online training course on reinforced concrete design. My name is Engineer Ndifreko Okon and I will be your instructor. So let's get started. In today's lesson on structural design, I will be taking you through the design of a one-story residential building using Prota structure. This is the this is the architectural drawing of the project that we want to design. This is the ground floor. This is the ground floor, and this is this is the the first floor. This is the ground floor and this is the first floor. So the ground floor and the first floor has a similar arrangement. As you can see, what we have here is also what we have here. So what we have here is also what we have here. So when you are doing your design, you have to compare the ground floor and the first floor so that if the first floor has general arrangement then you know that you need to incorporate those uh, if the first floor has a different room arrangement and you should be able to know which ground ground floor so you have to look at those things and see how you can you know incorporate them during your design. So let's open our Prota structure software. As you can click on new project. Let's type in the name of our project design. Design of one story. your preferred code. In this case I'm using the UK Euro code so you click on it and you click on it. Okay so the next thing you do is to click on external reference drawing. You click on add to take you to where you save the the DXL file. So this is where I save the DXL file. So I click on then you check this check this then you click on import. Here you set your layout and this layout setting must correspond with the one that you use when you were preparing the general arrangement. So in this case, my grid line, I use group, so I click on that. That was the name of the, the layout, the layer I use for the grid line. So I didn't use anything for columns, so I will just allow the, the column to be there. I won't do it. I won't touch the column, the wall. I will allow it to be there. I want to insert my column manually, so I click on import. 
okay, I'll close and then I'll click. Okay, so this is the <coughs> the layout of the drum. So let me show you that we have already prepared it. the royal arrangement of the
logical point rather than three point so we can eliminate one okay so let's
rooms on the first floor. Fourth, maybe for instance, at the middle of this uh, panel. So you have been able to locate that. I think in my next video, I will, I will, I will take us through a design of maybe another one-story building where you have a different room arrangement on the upper floor. So you know how you can place your wall load while designing using the ground floor. So in, in this case, the arrangement is typical. So the arrangement that we have in the ground floor is also the arrangement that we have in the upper floor. So we can go back and confirm this from the architectural drawing. So this is the ground floor. So when you check out, you will see this is the ground floor. And this is also this is the first floor. So you, see, you now see that the arrangement that you have on this ground floor is also the arrangement that you have on the first floor. So in that case, the wall will, will be literally on all the the wall of the ground floor. So, so you click on click on one of the view, go to edit wall load, edit wall load. by now we should okay maybe for maybe let me just explain this for the benefit of those that maybe just watch my video for the first time but I think I have done that in other design so let me go back to the design template design template okay now the partition allowance to wall load is 2.2.9 2.9 then we have finishes to be 0 0.6 so in order for us to have this unit wall unit width we add we add 0 0.6 and 2.87 so that will give us 3.4 so that we add this and this to give all this. So that is how we arrive at this 3.47. Then length the wall at 3.0. So we have two, two, three. So we click on OK. So for you to duplicate all this wall on all the wall, so you click on that. You go to copy wall load go to where you have your beam, click on the first beam, then hold your shift key, hold your shift key, then click on the land beam, then you right click and go to first copy beam. So let us um, generate the first floor, which is the roof story. So to do that, you click on story right click, go to insert story. Since it is roof, the slab will be up. So we'll 
check this guy. And the roof, which is the first floor of the generator. Fine. So this is it. This is the roof of the generator. So here we are going to do some. Number one, we are going to remove the wall loop. We are going to remove the wall loop. So we click. We do delete wall loop. Wall loop. We delete it. Then we are clear the, the edit section. This is the roof layer. So definitely the, the size of the building will be that 450 rather than 300. So in the roof there are some of these buildings will be part. They, you know that there is a wall here. There is a wall here. There is also a wall at this point. There's, it is not compulsory or it is not economical that you have to run beams on all this wall. So that is why we are removing this beam. But bear in mind that we still have a block wall here. But there is no need for us to run any no beam there. So we can as well remove this. This can also go. We are removing the group here, not the wall. The wall still remain. So this can go. This will also go. This will go. And from here, we can fix this column at this point.
that slab is two ways but when your l1 over lx is greater than two that slab is one way now what do we mean by two ways spanning slab it simply means that the main reinforcement is going to be placed both on y and the x axis main reinforcement is going to be placed both on the on the on the x and the y axis but in, in the case of one way spanning slab the main reinforcement is going to be placed only on the shorter span on the shorter span while the distribution which is a um, 0 0 point 0 point 13 bh percent will, that is the area of the distribution reinforcement is going to be placed on the longer span that is the, the distribution in other words we can say that the main reinforcement in two-way spanning slab will be placed both on the shorter span and the longer span if you are using y12 so it means that the y12 will be placed both on the shorter span and on the longer span now when we are considering um, uh, ly and lx now ly does not necessarily mean the direction of the y axis in this case when you look at here when you look at this slab let me check let me check the dimension of this slab in the autocad so let's look at the dimension of this let's look at this dimension this is 36 this is 36 and this is uh, okay now this is 38 this is 3825 this is 3625 now in this case our lx is is on this direction is on this direction while our ly is on this direction so when you are placing your main reinforcement, what do you do? You place it on this direction first. Even though, even though in two-way spanning slab, you place both main reinforcement on Y and X direction. So the first reinforcement that we are going to place will be on this direction because of this. Will be on this direction. So we are placing the, the main reinforcement on this direction on this direction where the the next reinforcement will place on this direction i don't know if you understand what i'm saying main reinforcement will be placed on this direction so how do we achieve that so remember that we have defined that the main reinforcement will be placed on this direction because this is our lx when you check the aspect ratio this is the lx and this is the ly so the main reinforcement will be placed on this direction so so let's go back to the total structure so in this case how do we play this reinforcement on this direction on this direction so in that case, case what do we do we come to if, if you are placing the reinforcement on this direction it means that you are making use of your you are making use of your x direction but if you are placing it on this direction you are making use of your ly your your, your y direction so we have defined that the main reinforcement will be placed on this direction so we are going to use the y direction here so you come to this point you click here this is start and this is end. so you click you come to this point you click use your control key So this 
this is our reinforcement this is our reinforcement this is the top the top reinforcement this is also the top reinforcement this is the bottom reinforcement this is also the bottom reinforcement so the so you, you do the same here press this come to this point press this So we are done with that. You save your work. Okay, you save your work. So you go back to your analysis. So that projects this is where you you put your projects title for instance we have proposed project number you put it here and if you have dates you only put it here and when you are done with that you can click ok so you go back again to this um, projects ok foundation here you have to put the reliable soil bearing capacity if you have actually carried out a soil delf this for this project so here you put but in this case i'm going to use 150 i'm going to use 150 you click ok when you click ok you go to run analysis you click on run analysis you wait for analysis to run Close. Close. 
Okay, so we go back to that analysis. We click on pre post analysis. Click on color. Here we are going to do our, our setting. So we do the we carry out the setting before we run the analysis. Before we run the design. So you click here design. You don't touch anything the parameter. In this case, we are using part 14. So, spacing of this, we're going to use 100. And within concrete, that is your blending, 50. 50. 50. Select Y16 at the end of the day. Y12 will hold, hold us. So, while we are doing the, 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 the detailing, you can edit that to Y, uh, Y12. So, I think we are good to go. So, we click on OK. So, you come to Column Design Batch Mode. You click on the select all as click on design. Thank you. 
okay so all our names are okay so we click so let's go to foundation design so we have done all our settings in the foundation so if i like everything we will click so let's i think there is something that we omitted so let's go back to that thing okay let's As well, this carry a design of these footings manually. How do you do that? You get the load on each of these columns. Sometimes you might not be very comfortable or okay with maybe the the total footing design. So you can design decide to run the analysis and design manually. So what do you do to get the load on each of these? column so you go to display you go to you go to this one then you click on um, column display so you click on another click on axial load you come here you click on dead load and live load you click ok so here you can see the dead load that this that this column carries. And you can also see the live load. So this is one eight. This one eight six point six. This is one nine five point five. So meaning that the load here is higher than the load here. So you can check each of these. It's one three eight. It's one three eight. This is. 96 point something so so that is it so let's go back to the let's go back to this floor to set our design status let's click here then you come to where you have design design status so from here you can see that all our design has passed that is why you see all this green green line green color sorry green green color so you can check this out in your 3d okay so everything has actually passed so this design is okay then the last thing i want to also show you is to how you can actually check if you want to carry out uh, manual beam detailing how do you extract how do you extract beam information that is very simple for instance if this is your beam 1 for you to get the reinforcement of this beam 1 you simply click on the beam right click go to section design section design you click on detail drawing so this will show you the reinforcement detail of that particular beam so you have 2y16 here 2y16 
to y16 here to y16 here to y16 and this is also to y16 so you go to your section you have your section to y16 to y16 so that is how you can do it then for you to for you to generate the the report result of any of these so what you do if you want to generate the report for 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 b you simply go to design go to story b since you have already designed your b so you click on design report click on design report click on design report this is design report for the for the bin so this this is your design report for the bin which, which you can convert it to PDF So this is this is the the column report result. So you can print this out if you want to print everything you can print it. So let's go for the slab. Let's go for the slab. Go back to your go back to slab analysis. Design only reset insufficient bar. So you click this one. You run the design for the slab. So this is the the slab strip report. So you can print it. But personally, I don't always use Prota uh, slab report. I that is why I have my template. So I will design my slab using this template. I will design my slab using this template. If you, if you want to use the Prota slab report, it is still okay. There's uh, no problem about that. No problem about that. So finally, for the for the for the for the foundation the foundation so for the foundation you can just click on any of these you can click on any of these footings you click on it you right click you go to go to show part footings report so you click on show part footings report This is the report. So it depends on how many reports that you need from the footing design. So if you want to print all, you are free. So you have to do it one after the other. One after the other.
So that is how far we can go for the design of one story building. Sincerely appreciate you for watching our structural design lesson and I hope that you have learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button so that when we upload a new lesson you will be the first to get the notification. Thank you. God bless you.